together. All right, whatever. All right, this one. Whoo, doggies. Okay, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I looks like I'm gonna have to multiply by 16 times x minus one times x plus five. We might need some more room for this one. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so you, let's see, 16, x minus one, and x plus five on top and on bottom. I'll actually put my work down here. So if you're a little lost, I just want to go over what I've done. Hopefully everybody's okay with where 16 x minus one x plus five came from on top and bottom. That's gonna be my common denominator. So what I've done is basically I need to take this and I need to multiply by both of these. Same thing on the bottom. I need to take that and multiply by both of these. So when you divide down, when I take this and I divide it by 16, those 16's go away, but now I need to multiply that answer by the numerator. So the 16's are gone, but I'm gonna have x squared times x minus one times x plus five. So that's what I've written right here. I do have to do that multiplication out, but I just wanted you to see where that's coming from. Then I have minus, now I have to do this fraction times this. So when I divide, the x minus ones are gonna cancel out. So then I'll just have 16 times x plus five times that x squared. So that's what I have here. And then I do the same thing in the denominator. The x plus fives will cancel, so I have x minus one times 16 times another x minus one. So that's how I had both of those there. And then in the last one, x minus ones cancel. 16 times 16 gets me the 256 times that x plus five. Does that make sense where all those pieces came from? Now I just have to do a whole bunch of crazy algebra to simplify this. Uh, actually, no. No, I thought for a second we could, something would help me out a little bit, but I don't think so. All right, so now, let's see. If I foil these two together, that's x squared plus five minus one is now plus four x minus five. And then I'll multiply all that by x squared. So that gets me x to the fourth, plus four x cubed minus five x squared. Is that okay for that one? So that's just me multiplying these three together and I got that. Now be careful, this is a minus sign, so watch yourself. So I'm going to multiply these together and then I'll subtract it. So that's gonna get me, let's see, x squared times that is x to the third plus five x squared now let's multiply that by 16. Well, really negative 16, right? So that's gonna be a minus 16 x cubed minus 16 times five is what, 80? Yes, 80 x squared. So there's my numerator. Let's go ahead and combine like terms. So I've got x to the fourth minus 12 x to the third and a minus 85 x squared. All right, let's go ahead and deal with our denominators now. 
So I have x minus 1 times x minus 1, so that's x squared minus 2x plus 1 times 16. 16x squared minus 32x plus 16. Okay, and then over here, add 256x plus whatever 256 times 5 is. 1280? You guys still with me? Yeah, we're all right. Okay, now let's see. I can sure I can combine some like terms down here. So I'm just going to rewrite my numerator. And let's see this denominator. I've got 16x squared. Uh, 256 minus 32. I got 224. And then that'll be a plus 1296. How are we doing? Everybody's all right? <laughs> oh, I know. Sometimes the problems take like so long. But it's all right. It's worth it in the end. It's so satisfying when you finish. So what can I do with this now? Yes. Yeah, we can definitely take an x squared out of the top for sure. Does it factor any further? I don't know if you tried that yet or not. Are there factors of 85 that add to be negative 12? I don't know. 17 and 5? I'll do it down here. So x minus 17 and x plus 5. Okay, let's see if anything. Oh, tell me I can take a 16 out on the bottom, can you? Does anybody try? Let's see, the 16 go into 1296. It does. So let's take out that 16. x squared, that'd be a plus 14x plus 81. Factors of 81 that add to 14. Do we have any of those? I don't think so. Oh, wait. No. I don't think so. So I actually think we're done. I like when something cancels out, though. Are they tedious? Yes. Can you do them? Of course you can. You just got to go piece by piece. Is this all right? I don't know if, is everything up there that everybody needs to see? Yeah. Right there? 81. Okay, so thoughts on complex fractions? They may not be your favorite. <laughs> Luckily, um, I wouldn't give you too many of them at once to do. All right, so we've got about 20 minutes left.